fall greetings once again, my friends. I got another little exciting little vintage Halloween video for you. Well, vintage from my time period. Um, this one, I got another piece to show you. I showed you the black cat. That was from 1996. And this is another 1996 Halloween factory item to show you guys. This one's not automated though. You have to push the button on this one. What I present to you, the scarecrow. He sits on a little base and he's animated. He waves his arm and he turns his head and he tells you to stay away. He gives you that warning. We got this at NHD back in the day, $17.96. And you know, it seems like just yesterday that we got this, but in 1996, 96 and 97, I believe it was 96, but I'll put the actual date up. You see, he's uh, he's got his hat, and he's got a jack-o'-lantern head. He's got his jeans, and he's on a table with a spooky background, kind of like the cat head. I'm showing you the side of the box, Halloween Factory, Gemi Industries, the animated scarecrow, head and arm move, push button activated, scarecrow talks. You can get more information on him on the back of the box. You can see the logo in the Halloween factory. Animated Scarecrow. The animated Scarecrow is a perfect fall and Halloween decoration. The Scarecrow moves his arm and his head. A crow sounds and the Scarecrow warns, stay away, stay away. Requires three AA batteries. Insert three AA batteries into the battery chamber located at the bottom of the base. Press the button at the front of the base to activate. Replace batteries when movement slows or becomes distorted, the sound becomes distorted. Do not mix old and new batteries. Do not mix alkaline standard or rechargeable batteries. Actual item may vary from the photo. This is not a toy and should be used for decoration only. And you can see the bottom. Manufacturing number 91619. Item 22700. And that's the back of the box. The other side is the same. And I don't think there's anything on the bottom. Nope. And on the top, it just has the Halloween factory logo. So, let me put the camera on a tripod and we'll take him out of the box. All right, so, sounds like we might have put the batteries in like I did with the cat, but they, the cat batteries were long since uh, that. Oh, let's pull them out and pull them out by his head. Whoop. Looks like we got a little, a little friend in here. <laughs> A little glow in a dark skeleton from the kids. Oh, there's another little, I'm not sure what this is. Let's put him down. He's in his bag. There is batteries in here, but there are also other things. Let's see. My son had made this from 2005. try to looks like the bottom of the piece of the candy corn the yellow part came off but you can <laughs> see a little piece of history of family history October 31st of 2005 my son had made that I like finding little goodies like that so this must be something that what do you think? Maybe he hangs on to? I'm not sure, but I don't know what else that could go to. And it looks like we have the little glow-in-the-dark skeleton. He's always fun for Halloween. What else do we have in here? Looks like we have a 
This is pretty cool. I like it. Look, guys, we have a trick-or-treat bag. It's fun to find things like this in the decorations and like a time capsule, and I'm sure that's why we did it. It's, there's something in here. Oh, check it out, guys. A little Halloween sticker. A little cat on a jack-o'-lantern. And it's from one of his friends, from Tyler, from Mark's friends. So that's fun. What else is in here? And we also have, ooh, this is kind of sticky and gross. It seems like it come off a cupcake and was thrown in a box. You can see a little pumpkin decoration that goes onto a, a cupcake. I think that's, that's remnants of the frosting that long since dried up on him. But that's, that's cool. And we put the batteries in the box. So that's not a good thing. So we're not going to keep the batteries, obviously. But I love all the little extras. So let's put the box next to him. And let's take them out of the bag. Now, it must be the collector in me, but no matter what it is, I always like to keep it in the, in the, uh, the condition that it was when we had first gotten it. You can see he still looks pretty good after all these years. And there's a little push button on the bottom. And it's got the same kind of drop down and pull out door. So let's put the batteries in. Here we go. You should be all set. And make sure you get a good view of him. And I'm gonna show you what he does. Let's put all the family little goodies around him. And without further ado, let's push the button. Awesome. I love him. I remember me and the kids drove my wife absolutely insane with him going on constantly. And he's held up good over the years. He still works. His head still moves. He's still in great condition. Let's hear him again. Don't you just love him? This thing is so cool. The only thing that I would improve upon is that if his the inside of his jack o' lantern head lit up, that would just be awesome. But let me take him, take you off the tripod, and I'll show you what he looks like up close. All right, let's get a little better view of him. See, he's got like a plaid shirt on and his farmer jeans and some of the stuffing coming out. So let's push the button again. So that, my 
my friends, is the Scarecrow, warning you to stay away with the little bonus goodies from our family history that were tucked inside the box with it. You can see he's all set to go into your cornfield or your Halloween display. And let him say goodbye to you one more time. Push the red button. <laughs> Mm-hmm.